Uh, it was only the first time uh, this last season in uh, 16 seasons we hadn't gone to a bowl game. So uh, for us, uh, kind of went back to work. We really hadn't changed much. We changed offenses. Uh, we felt like the foundation was in place. Our kids work hard. We had a great summer. And so uh, really excited about getting that taste out of our mouth. And uh, the only way to do that is get back and get going. Excited about uh, Doug Meacham and Sonny Cumbie additions to our staff. Uh, felt like it was doing, uh, gives us an opportunity to level the playing field as far as being able to throw the football. I think still I have to have a lot of patience with that. You know, I talked to AM when they changed from a running play action type team to a throwing. Uh, they were very frustrated, I think, coming out of spring, and then it really kind of went through the summer and they improved. Uh, so, just like anybody else, I'm excited to see uh, what that uh, works out to be uh, going into the fall season. You know, the definition of a great player is a great player makes everybody around him better. I think that's what we're looking for in our two guys. Uh, Trayvon's went from wearing 220 down to 205. He's lost weight, he's faster, he's quicker, and he wants to be the guy. Um, but, you know, I think the key is to find the guy that has the swagger that allows us to move the football, score points, and the guy that's not going to turn the ball over. Felt like last year we just wouldn't have done that. We would have had an opportunity to, uh, to win a couple more ball games. And so, uh, you know, really that's that's what we're trying. But we don't really have a, uh, a timetable or anything else. It's just finding that guy that makes the offense go. And what, you know, when you put all the pieces of the puzzle together, uh, what makes us the better, best football team we can possibly be. We only have, you know, one starting tackle and then uh, uh, Matt Jogel and then a wide receiver, David Porter, that's here today that are, all, that are seniors. So everybody's going to come back even after this season. And so for us, how do you, you know, you're really not only having a one-year plan, but how do you put yourself in a two-year plan to make sure you can be the best football team you can be going down the road? Well, you know what, we lost Jason Barrett. So as far as Nick Moore is concerned, uh, you know, we felt like we had two and a half corners a year ago. Uh, when we went to Iowa State, we had to move a, a receiver over to wide receiver uh, over to DB when we played Iowa State in that win. And so one of the things we feel like to do, Nick is going to be a guy that's going to give us the depth. He's very smart. He's not only playing corner, but he's also playing on free safety, which he played both of those at uh, DeSoto. And, and the other match key, you know, the key is that you have a guy that can return punts, turn kicks, fly sweeps, uh, bubbles. And so with Dez, you have a guy that's going to be able to do all those other things. You know, he's not a guy that you're gonna, it's going to be easy to find over the middle. But a lot of like guys do is, you know, you throw a bubble screen to him. And one guy, you're scared to play man coverage on him because he's always going to make that first guy miss. And so uh, he reminds me a lot of, of Sky Dawson, but he's probably had more wiggle, maybe not quite as fast. Is playing for Tampa, Tampa Bay. So uh, both those guys, I think. But it, we feel like both of those guys are going to give us depth this year, even as freshmen.